Will Kennard, uh, who was the editor of the competing newspaper in Anderson, they got into an argument about why Riley's poetry was not being accepted by the Eastern magazines. Riley claimed that it was because of those periodicals prejudice against Western writers. And Will Kennard said, no, I think they're being rejected because your writing doesn't meet that standard. Annoyed by this man's criticism and by the return of manuscripts from magazines, I devised a plan to win recognition in disguise. This was to write a poem in imitation of a well-known author and submit it to my unthinking critics as a newly undiscovered manuscript. And of course, he picked Poe because Poe died on the day he was born. A friend, the editor of the Kokomo Dispatch, undertook to launch the hoax in his paper. The editor's introduction read as follows. The following beautiful posthumous poem from the gifted pen of the erratic poet Edgar Allan Poe, <laughs> we believe has never before been published in any form. Our attention was called to a poem written on the blank fly leaf of an old book. Handing us the book, he observed that the poem might be good enough to publish, and if we thought so, to take it along. Noticing the initials EAP at the bottom of the poem, it struck us that possibly we had run across a bonanza, so to speak. Now, remember, I devised the Poe poem fraud simply to prove, if possible, that like critics of verse would praise from a notable source what they did not hesitate to condemn from an unknown bard. My scheme proved successful. And when that was published, a lot of newspapers out east, like the New York Times, New York World, were taken in by the ruse. Within weeks, the poem was published in all manner of outlets across the country, along with the acclaim it received from the judges of verse. Well, Riley's back here laughing because he's proved his point. Once a name of great renown was affixed to a poem that he wrote, the East Coast papers picked it up. And so it went and went and kept on going till at last the necessary expose. He took so many people in that so many people did believe that it was a Poe poem, that although he was momentarily disgraced, it actually set him up for his later fame. All of which is smiling material now, as I present to you the poem that was the object of my hoax, Leonini. Leonini. Angels named her and they took the light of the laughing stars and framed her in a smile of white. And they made her hair of gloomy midnight in a solemn night of summer, when my heart of gloom blossomed up to greet her comer like a rose in bloom. All forebodings that distressed me I forgot as joy caressed me, lying joy that caught and pressed me in the arms of doom. Only spake the little lisper in the angel tongue. Yet I listened, heard her whisper, songs are only sung here below that they may grieve you, tales but told you to deceive you. So must Leonini leave you while her love is young. Then God smiled and it was morning. Matchless and supreme heaven's glory seemed adoring earth with its esteem. Every heart but mine seemed gifted with the voice of prayer and lifted where my Leonini drifted from me like a dream. <laughs>